So, here I am again, happy as can be, with my Dyson Vac battery. Trying to ascertain if it's any good or not, and if it isn't, what's wrong with it. I've already done a video on discharging it. So now I'm trying to do one on charging. So I've got the same setup. I've got, well, very similar setup. The battery voltages of the four batteries are being indicated here. Sorry, the six batteries are being indicated here. The first one is a bit more, all of them then 20.9 volts and 4.2 on the first one. And the others are quite low, down at three something or other. I've got a small breadboard here, which looks at the two output pins on the plug to see what happens, if anything. And a meter here to measure the current going into the battery from the sort of standard Dyson battery charger. The whole thing could be faulty, which is the reason that I've got it. The batteries themselves, or the cells should I say, seem to be reasonably okay when tested and charged individually. But I've left the number one higher than the others, so I can see if it can balance charge. Now this might not be a fault of the Dyson circuit board it might be a fault that the fact that the thing is broken somehow so let's try charging turn on the charger bang no no we don't seem to have a bang we've got 372 milliamps and we've got 22.1 volts we've got Five, oh, can't read those quick enough. 21.2, 4.11, so that has zoomed up from the 4.04 that it was. So it doesn't seem at the moment it's trying to balance charge. So it's 21, still 4.11. The other's still very low. 3.5, 3.4. 3.6, oh that one's gone up a bit, still 4.11, not really getting indication on my output LEDs, so maybe it's not working correctly, don't know what I should be getting on these, I've just connected them each of the outputs to ground through a bi-directional LED which might be a waste of time because I can't see oh one's lit up there. oh right so it's actually gone off now was it because 4.11 which has gone back down to 4.04 .04, almost straight away was too high is it a fault with the charging board or is it a fault with the charger? Right, let's try switching the charger off. And get to the switch. Switch the charger off. My cell at this end, which is 4.11 or 4.04 now. If I can put a bulb across it maybe I can drag it down a bit it might take a lot uh, to get it down come on a bit silly thing to do but there we are it's now lighting a 12 volt 21 watt bulb goodness knows what current it's taking and the first one is down to oh 3.98 already Leave it on for a bit longer to see what it goes down to. Three point nine seven. Three 
Bit of a silly thing to do really, I suppose. This might blow out something on the on the battery circuit board. I've no idea how that's controlled. I can't see any big fat FETs on it. So I assume that any battery balancing it does is based on resistors. Although it didn't reduce in voltage overnight. It still stayed at about the 4.04. Of course if I remove this bulb its voltage is going to charge up isn't it? It'll go up to about 4 volts because it's dragged down by the the bulb down to 21 and 3.92 If I take it off, see what it jumps up to, that's it off, all 21, and it's jumped up to 3.97. Can I get it on again? Yep. And now it'll have gone back down to, what, 3.91 again? Yep, 3.91 like to get it a little bit lower. Maybe I should have put two bulbs on that would have taken it down faster. Three point nine one still. Could stay at that for a long time. Got to be careful of course because the output plug is unprotected and should that short then it would take the full voltage of the batteries across it or the, well the battery because there is no protection from the battery to the output plug right shall I try again 3.9 3.39 3.57 3.89 so I'll take it off have a look it'll be well we've gone back to 9.1 with 3.91 uh, again let's have a look then baby what you're doing yeah oh gone back to 3.94 still a bit high still let's try charging bang on it goes 21.1 but I'm still only getting 22.1 on this meter now maybe the meter's a bit dicey but that has also only given me 21 but that's the voltage of the cells is it all right so that's gone up to 4.2 and it's staying on so looking at my LED I'm not getting anything on this LED so maybe I've connected it wrong I don't know what a Dyson Vac does when it's charging. Does it flash? Definitely doesn't seem to be any LEDs on the battery itself. So any LEDs must come from the the Vac itself on that circuit board. Still pretty constant at 3.72 on my Oops, it's gone off. Oh, one flashed. Just saw that go green, so it has flashed again. Didn't see what number one was at when it went. But presumably it's back to 404 now. Oh no, 3.97. So there must be a fault somewhere on it. Where, I'm not too sure. And I'm pretty certain I'm out of my depth now. Don't want to start disassembling this board. The other charger. Don't want to start disassembling that. So where the fault is, no idea. I suspect that both are faulty. Both the board and the charger. Oh well, go back to flashing LEDs rather than trying to do this high stuff, high level stuff that I don't really understand. 
Okay then, yeah, right. Hope this might help somebody somewhere along the line. I've enjoyed trying, but just another failure. Ah well, at least I think I've got six good selves out of it that I can put on to something else. Although I seem to be building up quite a stock of these selves. Don't really know what to do with them. Right then, uh, bye now, bye.